Hi Pisces, hope you're doing well. Welcome to your week ahead reading. This is where we look at the next seven to 10 days ahead, roughly, from whenever it is you're watching this video to see what's coming in, what you need to know for your highest good. Keep an open mind in terms of the timings, okay? As always, feel free to check out any other video on the channel that you feel drawn to. And Pisces, thank you so very much for everything you do for the channel. Every little helps. Liking the videos helps a lot. Um, and it's just a button over there. It doesn't take you much to press it. If that's something you wanted to do, if you wanted to show support, okay, there are some easy, simple, free ways for you to do that. Okay, liking the videos, sharing the videos, commenting, that's another good way to do it. Even if you just say hi, right? Um, subscribing, obviously. Um, so yeah, and thank you to everyone who's been doing all of that. I truly appreciate you. And I also want to say thank you for the kindness to, towards me, but also towards each other in the comments. I like seeing that. Okay. It makes me happy because we need more of that in the world. And I, I'm glad we have that in our little community community here. So I just wanted to take a minute to say that. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. We have a new deck. It's called a pastoral tarot. That's the book because the box is kind of big and it's landscape. So it's interesting, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I really hope you like it. Okay. Let's see what's going on for Pisces placements. Keep in mind, put the rolls where they go. What's going on for Pisces placements in the week ahead? What they need to know? All right, here we go. Let me see which way it is. Yeah, that way. So we have the beginning of the week. You could look at this as roughly Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, if you really wanted to. I want to get, I want, I want to try to get that specific in a general reading, to like to the day. But it can happen. Okay, I've seen it. Middle of the week. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday-ish, end of the week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it depends, right? Okay, so what's going on for Pisces in the week ahead? Oh, I hurt myself. Okay, nothing new. So we have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck, Virgo energy, and the, the, the feeling I'm getting with this is either it's, it's not either. It's starting venturing off on a new path and it's moving away from what you know. So patterns, familiar situations, people, um, things you've learned to expect, okay, type of situation. And it's moving away from that to pursue something different, something new, something more, okay? But the Hermit talks about a voluntary stepping away and stepping back from the hustle and bustle, the what we know, the familiar, right? Same old, same old. Taking a step away from that and just choosing to find a different path, a different way to do things, a different way to live. Because this no longer fulfills us. This no longer makes sense to us. So we're venturing off and it's a big decision because it can involve making a lot of different changes and releasing a lot of different things and people in situations, right? But there's an inner knowing and an inner, an inner guidance within the hermit that is telling him, go this way, this is where your answers are. This is, this is what you're looking for, right? It's in this direction somewhere. And then it's a case of going through, taking one step at a time and learning as you go. But it's that unfamiliar territory feeling, right? Okay. So, beginning of the week, Ace of Wands, very nice. And I just did the weekly on my other channel for the collective, and the Ace of Wands came out in the beginning of the week as well. So, we might be getting confirmation. So, if you want to check that video out as well, that channel out as well, it's linked below. It's called Advice to Think Twice. And thank you to everyone who's gone over there as well. Oh, interesting. Page of Wands. The, because these are landscape, I don't quite know. It doesn't, I don't read reversals anyway, necessarily, but it's interesting that it did come out reverse because I thought they're all lined up in the same direction, if that makes sense. So we'll see if that's relevant. Or it could be that I just flipped it. I don't know. Let's see. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay, I see what it is. So, um, 
like I say, there's a new path. You've decided, you've made up your mind. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm pursuing. It's different. And that's confirmed in the wands energy. It's expansive. You've never been here before, done this before, but it's intriguing and it's attractive to you. Okay. And that could be a person, that could be a thing, a situation, a path, an opportunity, a way of life, whatever it is. Right. The page of wands in the reverse with the five of pentacles is you giving some people some bad news of, hey, this is done. I'm out. I quit. I'm leaving. I'm done here. I'm moving out. I'm no longer going to be doing this. I'm no longer going to be working for you because I'm venturing off and doing my own thing or a different job or whatever it is, right? That could be what that is. So let's see, middle of the week. I'll keep flipping them over. We have the Seven of Cups, the King of Swords, big decision, and the Three of Swords. Yeah. This is where, um, yeah, you're giving someone some bad news. Someone wants to talk to you about options. Someone wants to talk to you about, can we work on this? Can we talk about this? King of Swords is determined, absolute fact, absolute truth. Hail to the no. I said what I said. And then the Three of Swords, there's the, 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 the quitting, the separation, the breakup, the walking away. It could be filing paperwork to reflect that, okay, with the King of Swords. And then what else? Towards the end of the week, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Oh, yeah, someone's, listen, this is just confirmation of everything I just said because this is the Six of Cups is the same old, same old, the familiar, what you know, what you can, you've learned to expect. Ten of Pentacles, right? It's been in place for a long time. This is what you've lived. This is what you've known. In whatever area of life this applies or e or all the areas. And the Queen of Swords is, again, that separation, that putting up a boundary, that cutting of ties with the familiar, the known, the comfortable, okay? Because there's comfort in the familiarity, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good situation, right? So I'm seeing, receiving that inspiration with the Ace of Wands. I don't know if it's inspiration. I don't know if it's a confirmation of sorts, if it's an offer of sorts, something being made official, or you having perfect clarity in a situation, and that gives you that drive, that fire, the motivation to go, okay, cool. That's it. Made up my mind. I'm walking away from this. No doubt in my mind. No shadow of a doubt. And I'm starting that thing. That's it. Okay? With the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Yeah, following some inner guidance, but also, again, there's confirmation, there's a tur turn of events, there's a twist of fate with the Ace of Wands, there's some, some sort of serendipity happening, coincidences, um, that bring you to this place of absolute complete clarity. Not only that, inspiration, passion, drive, fire, that I know for a fact, that is where I want to be, I know for a fact, this is what I want to do and action, the drive, the determination, the fire, I'm doing it, I'm making it happen, I'm making it official, there's paperwork involved, there's documents, there's uh, making it known, making it formal, making it official and however that resonates. There is an attempt at a negotiation at someone trying to change your mind and there is a flat no, hell to the no, I said what I said, get out of my way, okay? Because whatever this new thing is with the Ace of Wands, it's like, no question in my mind, that's, that's it for me. That's it for me. That's the energy that I'm getting. And you'll notice we don't have a lot of major arcanas because this is all you're doing. You're doing this, okay? This is you taking action, you making decisions, and you going for it and putting things in place, okay? Taking charge and taking lead. With major arcana energy, it's more things that are a bit outside of our control. We're more influenced by things or we're, you know, less in charge of what how far we can go and what we can do. This is all minor arcana. So you are making changes. So let's see, let's get more information for Pisces. For the week ahead, but Pisces, this is flipping great is what it is, okay? Beginning of the week, middle of the week, end of the week for Pisces. What else do we need to know? I mean, what else do you need to know, Pisces? Two of Cups. Because you found your perfect match. 
That could be a person, that could be a job, that could be a career path, that could be a way of life, that could be um, an industry, that could be anything. It's the perfect match for you. No question in your mind. That's just what it is. Beginning of the week, what else we have? The magician. Listen, watch the other reading because this is uncanny. You've manifested this. This is an answered prayer. This is a wish fulfillment. Nine of Pentacles. I hear the whole package. However, that resonates with you. And again, it's an energy of independence, taking charge, taking leadership, you making it happen. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And again, walking away from something, Nine of Pentacles, making yourself independent from something because you have enough, you are self-sufficient to get this other thing going, to make it happen, to create it, to start building, to start investing. This could also be, and again, this these are the energies, but it could translate in a number of different ways to where you get the yes answer and you get the business loan. So now it's like full speed ahead. I quit my job. I'm just solely going to focus on my business because I'm set. I don't need to worry about the money, right? It could be that. Middle of the week, we have the hangman, contemplation, the star. This is absolute. Look at all these majors. And the majors are in the clarification telling me that there is cosmic backing to what it is that you're doing, if that makes any sense. You're following your inner knowing, but that, that comes from inspiration. That comes from being connected to the divine. Okay. You're following your inner guidance, your divine guidance. Okay. Again, it's some sort of wish fulfillment. I don't know how else to put it. You see these cards. This is something that you have been holding out for, waiting for. Last piece of the puzzle. And it's here. It is here. Look at it. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles towards the end of the week. It has to do with something new that inspires you. It's different, Ace of Wands. It's solid though. Is absolutely solid. No question, no doubt, no second thought. This is where I want to invest. This is where I want to put my time, my money, my energy, my heart. It's a big week for new beginnings. Love of the Tower, Four of Cups. The end of a time of struggling, compromising, settling, accepting less than what you deserve waiting for that thing, waiting for that perfect thing, and here it is, that Ace of Cups. Your answered prayer, however that resonates with you. So Pisces, short, sweet, to the point, and flippin' amazing is our weekly reading. This week, uh, you're going to have to tell me what this is. It'll be different things for everyone, but the bottom line is you get what it is that you've been waiting for, and that gives you the clarity, the drive, the resources to start this new path that you're absolutely certain of, absolutely certain. So it's making it happen. It's aligning the details of the mundane, right? In terms of paperwork, in terms of making something official, in terms of packing up and moving, in terms, you see what I mean, okay? To, to start this new, new path. But you found it, you found it, Pisces. This is it. And I swear, that's the title of the other reading that I did. So it's just confirmation in the energy. Because Pisces is part of the collective, right? So it doesn't completely surprise me when we get similar messages. But wow. What is this for you, Pisces? What is this? I'm really looking forward to your comments and your feedback on this one, okay? I really hope this helps. I'm excited. I am ready. Okay. So Pisces, I'm going to leave that there. I uh, hope it helps. Have an absolutely fantastic week. It will be unlike any other, I can tell you that much. And it's only the beginning. Okay? So, leave it there. Sending you all the best. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.